What a horrible weather this wet, wet weather. So I can tell it's gonna rain later on, but oh well, at least I got an umbrella for the day. All right, guys, uh, now is day four, I believe. So um, if you're wondering where we're going to go to, go to today, we're going to go to what's it called, a guttle. Uh, it's like a small island place, of like that has like the culture stuff and um, or obviously like the cemeteries of like uh, my great grands and all that such uh, to visit for they like, pay their respects to it, so, you know, to you know just to visit. So I'll be going there today. It's like a tra it's, the travels is like it's complete. It's like a long journey to it. So and then plus I'm gonna be, it's gonna be like a crazy crazy long trip like you need to tra transport or to train and i think to the bus and then to the ferry i believe so because it's such a far away far away place of it so so that's where we're heading today um i think we're going to be there i think it's like a one day trip i would say of it and then coming back as well from it as well, from it as well coming back from home from this as well so but I've not been there since uh, 2019, so I think I do remember that place. So but it'll be it'll be interesting to visit that place uh, today because due to the, the horrible weather that's going to come up today. So because last time I was there, it was like it was it was nice and bright weather. So this time is going to be a little bit different. So we'll see how things go from the travel from the journey to to that place of that the island, the the small island of that. So. Um, like it's gonna be an interesting one, but yeah, yesterday was really good actually because uh, I went to going to Typo uh, Market and all that stuff. Uh, yesterday was really good. I quite enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, it's just we'll see how things go from uh, later on today. We're just waiting for the others, and then we'll just head out. So we're in this place at this train station right now. So 
I think we're going to get a transport. Next one will be the minibus, I believe. So to get to the uh, to the small island of of Gato. So but it's quite busy here during the week, uh, during the Sunday, I think. So uh, we'll, yeah, it's quite busy here. I thought for Sundays, and we'll see how things go. So we've got the, so many minibuses, or the green minibuses and green taxis and red taxis here as well. So the, plus there's a bus station as well. So it's wild, man. I think I think I could be wrong. I think the green ta uh, the green minibuses are for like uh, small towns or villages and stuff for that one. And then the red bu the red minibuses are like for cities, I believe. I could be wrong, but. Yeah, I know it's been ages I haven't been back, so I'm trying to remember everything, everything, you know what I mean, so... But, yeah, that's what the, how they run things here. So I currently arrived at this place now, so um, there was like a security barriers and all that uh, to get into this place though, so in order to get into this this town you have to actually show your ID to get to get here, so because um, it's like, it's very restricted this place because it's so divided, some certain um, uh, cities and stuff, so so yeah, that is, it, it, it's kind of weird that I arrive in this place, you know what I mean, so, um, but it's, it's been so long I haven't been here, man, I mean, and back in 2019, so it just feels so weird, so, but yeah, yeah, arriving, uh, to, in order to get to this place, you now have a, like a, a different uh, ID to actually get to this place, because it's very, very, very restrict here, so, because uh, I think it's due to how divided it is some uh, places are, including this one, so and it just feels, it is kind of strange and you have the multiple different IDs to get to some certain places that, you, that I want to go to, so but this is one of them, so but, yeah, it's interesting to see all this, so I think we're I think we're having, get, I think we're getting food I think before we head down to, was it uh, to the, the small island as well. In order to get to the small island, I think you need to take the, the ferry and all that stuff to get there. So, but yeah, we're gonna get food and see how things go. Oh, there's a wee cat. There's a wee cat there. I mean. Right, I'm just on. I'm, I'm having my lunch now. So. Um, basically, I've, well, not a lot of lunch, I would say breakfast, I would say, sorry, not my lunch. Breakfast, I got myself like noodles, so this like pork beef noodle. It looks really good actually, so this is what it looks like with this, this pork here. So this pork's really good. And then noodles as well, so I can't wait to dig in with this meal, so I better, I better start eating before I start heading out. So we just finished our meal. Uh, we're going to be going on this boat soon. This is going to be a really, really strange boat on this, so we'll just see how things go when we're riding on this.
arrived at the small island now, so basically we took the small uh, boat here. I think it's like the fastest one, so uh, it's like it's like Uber taxi pretty much. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're arrived in what's it called Guttel now, so this is the place. Uh, it's more quicker because they want to get to get to this place quick. Because uh, right now it's uh, spitting right now, so that's why I decided to come here really quick. So. This is my friend. Oh, yeah. oh. Huh? Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Very dog here as well. Oh, well. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, so we're just checking around to see how things go. Yep, like I said, it's gonna rain. So this is this is the the streets, and then there's like old buildings and you know like destroyed branches, trees. Yeah, it's, I've not been here in years, man. It's just. Hiya. Yeah, it's totally a, a village, man. There's not a lot of people here because due to the weather, so... Well, this is the, the the house of it. That was like my great-grand's house, so... My great-grand used to live here for years. I mean, many, many, many years when I was born, so... It's nice to see this, see this again. So there's two buildings here as well, uh, two, two houses to join together, so it's good to see that back. I've not seen this apartment in, in years since 2019. So dark here, man, I can barely see, man. There's another room here as well, so they cleaned up quite a while. It's been ages I haven't been on here, man. I mean, so I used to stay overnight this place since I was a kid. I mean, but it's just seeing this uh, getting refurnished, like, seeing this refurnished when I was there in 2019. It's still the same that I was new, but back then it was so dirty. I mean, it's so old. But now it just seems better than, than better, better than before. I think. So yeah, it just feels strange. In the stairs as well, so. But, yeah. It just feels strange to have seen this, I mean, so. I used to live it. I used to stay over in here when I was a kid, like I said. I mean, it's just so strange here, so. But, yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to take it all around, the way it's just. Because uh, when I was a wee kid, I used to, like, hang around here and all that, so. Weird memories, so. But, yeah. Still pissing raining out there guys, so it's just this rain will never ever stop. I mean plus there's like thunderstorm as well by the way, the thunder and lightning, I don't know if you heard it, so uh, yeah, I don't know how long it's gonna rain, so we're still stuck in in this apartment. So yeah, we're gonna be stuck here for a little bit here, so yeah, it's still pissing rain for the last couple of hours. Uh, at the moment, we're still stuck here at the moment, so uh, we're going to be leaving very, very soon in a few minutes to head back to the boat and then head back to the other side. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a shame that we're not going to be able to wander around for most of the other places due to the heavy, heavy rain today, so that's very unfortunate. But I don't know when I'll be coming back in the future, I don't know. Um, it's just hard to say, so, but who knows when, when I'll come back, I mean, so. But yeah, the weather has been so horrible, man, I mean, so, but. Um, it's because it's so, it's so, I hate the weather, man, to be honest, I hate the rain, I mean, so. Usually it's sunny a lot, but I feel like it's a bad time, and I mean, so, I'm down, I mean, in this horrible weather. But, yeah, it's, it's nice to see this place, um, uh, you know, just a visit to see this apartment where my great grand used to live, you know, so, um, just, it's just a bit for a wee visit, I mean, so, but, 
Yeah, we, we, like I said, we're going to be leaving in a few minutes soon. The back to the main city. Well, we're jumping on the uh, just, uh, one of those Uber boat, uh, Uber something sort of like a taxi where the boat's like it, 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 it goes quicker to back to the island. So, so once we've done that, I don't know what we're going to do afterwards. We'll probably go out for a meal or something. Um, I don't know. It's, it depends on the others what their plans are. So uh, I'll, I'll be just winging it, pretty much. So, but yeah, we'll see how things go when we go head, head back. Since the rain has um, stopped for a little bit, so we just decided to walk around this area, I think. The rain's going to probably come later later on, um, but decided to have a chance to look around a wee bit, this place. So since it's stopped raining, but it's spitting. It's spitting a bit, but just having a look and all that. So this is what it looks like, guys. So. It just feels weird to be in here, you know what I mean? So even there's not a, there's not a lot of uh, people kicking around because due to how how wet how the rain how the weather is uh, raining here. So if if it was a sunny day, it would have been you probably end up seeing pe some people around. You know what I mean? So but it's just strange because in the mountains, man. You know I mean so. That cloud of mountains, so there's like buildings and cities across it. So, so walking up further and further. Oh, okay. So walking up further and further, uh, as we see more of it. So, oh. Oh, okay. Someone, uh, someone from uh, drew, drew this. I think a few people have drew this wall. So it looks, it looks cool actually. So the buildings here, and the atmosphere of here, these ones here. So I've not been here in years, man. I mean, so I don't think, I don't think much has changed. I think they're still the same, I believe. The last time I was here was 2019. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to say, um, whenever you come to this place, uh, you, you will definitely see wild uh, insects and wild um, uh, some animals here as well, by the way. So, uh, there, was a, there was a boar, uh, there's a wild boar in this place you could probably find. And also that... Uh, insects wise you will see like flies and uh, poisonous spiders you, you can get in this place you know what I mean so there is like spiders here which I'm not a big fan of uh, uh, to be honest so I know it's kind of crazy um, you probably will see wild spiders uh, somewhere along the way if it was hot weather but since it's raining I don't think you'll see as much so it is kind of strange you know what I mean for looking at, at this place so, but, yeah, if it was still raining, I don't think we'll have a chance to have a look around, but since now it's just died down a little bit, it will, it will rain later on, but I just uh, have a look around, so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, it's just uh, my, a few of my aunties and uncles are just showing me around the, the, some areas, so. Just a look around, browse around, and see what's see what's changed, and see what's uh, still the see if it's still the same. But I feel I feel like most of this, I feel like most of the areas in this place is still the same. I believe. So it's even if they change things up a bit, man. I mean that it, they would have been so they would have told me by now they've, they would have changed things up. You know the 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 differences. But I feel like this place I feel like this place um, is still the same that I know of. So. But it's cool to see it. So we're just heading back into this area again. So we just wander around a wee bit just to see, just to look around. Um, 
there was a few there was a few areas up there I was uh, can't take pictures or videos because I forget to get charged for that I think I think there's like a sign on that so I think it's I think it's just to do to, to um, the was it was it the respect of the the culture I think we're just down there so I just don't want to disrespect it so that's what it says on it so but it was nice to see it I mean, it was interesting. Um, it was just, I don't think I've been to that area before, that the further up, so, but, it was interesting what I saw, I mean, but I can't say much of what I've seen, but, uh, but it was interesting. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just looking around, just, to, I think it's quite quiet at the moment, so it's still raining, and um, I can tell it's going to be heavy rain later on, I can tell, but, and it was just nice to have a look around, so, but, in this place, I uh, used to do like uh, the festivals here. Actually, I used to do festivals and celebrations here, in this in this place. So, I think <clears throat> I think they're gonna uh, there there is one coming up. There is one coming up in uh, I think a couple more years. I think uh, the celebration the the festival here. I believe. Uh, I'm not sure which uh, which other year, well I don't know which year will be. But I know it's going to be definitely a couple of years ahead. Um, but I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll make it. It just depends how how the schedule is going to be like for my life. And also that it's going to be really busy because the festival in here is really busy. Trust me, man. I mean, so maybe maybe someday I will show you. I mean, so maybe someday. Upstairs. Upstairs. Okay. So I'm going to go up to up, up to the temple. So it's just up there. So we're going to see you what it looks like when we head up. Right, as you can see, we're going to go inside. So. It's just like the... This is the history of like this place. Oh, oh all right, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, thank you. Alright, I've got to put my umbrella down now, so... But yeah. So this is the the history of this the this this island. So it's just it's really interesting. I mean, so like it just shows all the histories and all these years and the uh, the centuries in this in this place for the, this country. So um, this is, it's going to take uh, it's going to be hard for me to take it all in. So they've got uh, two languages here. So at least you've got a, a translation. Uh, you know, in English, so what, what is like, you know, the story of this? So it's really interesting. Shows the video of like the, the past as well, of it. performing dance, performance dance, and all that stuff. So we just finished the, the, that, muse, that small museum uh, place, so we're, we're heading back, but it was interesting to see that actually, I mean, so, because when I was young, um, I used to hate them, you know, going to festivals and all that stuff, but uh, now, uh, me, growing, like, me growing as an adult now, um, it kind of changed my, my mind of it now, I, I, begin, no, I wouldn't say I really like it. It's just one of those moments like I'm very neutral now. So just to, there's times when I wasn't sure from the beginning when I was really young, you know. But now when I'm growing up, like an adult, but like seeing like you know all these uh, the culture stuff and all that the centuries. But I feel like it was okay. I mean, it's interesting to have a look. And there's puppy dogs there, so you just take there. I think you're just tired around from it. So yeah, it was just interesting to have a look around, so...
so it's time to head back now, so it's, it's, it's now like 3 o'clock right now, so we're just going to head back to the, to the boat area, get the, get the boat, and head back to the main city, and then we'll see what the plans are for, for today, since it's raining, and we're not sure what's going to happen for today, so we'll just see, we'll just see how things go when we, once we arrive, so... Well, that's our speed. There's our boat here, so the the speed boat it will definitely uh, that will take us back to the city that we were jumped earlier. So there we go, Jeremy. Yeah, uh, that's our boat here. So that we're going to jump on that very very shortly soon, back to the main city, and then see how things go. Let's go. Just finished the uh, on the right of that boat now, so we're back in this area. Uh, we're gonna go walk back up and then take the bus, mini bus, to the train station, and then I'll just see what happens on the schedule for when, once we arrive. So, and it's still pissing raining. <laughs> Right now I'm in Satin right now, so I decided to come here again because just to look around other shops and stuff properly at this time uh, during this free time. Uh, decided to come here. Uh, the rest of my families are away at home because uh, they're uh, they're they're really exhausted, so they decided to take a break. So um, I decided to go out because I feel like going home early is just um, I don't feel like going home early that you know too early I would say so. Because I want to explore, I want to show you guys with all this. So this is, uh, this is. I want to show you this properly. This is Satine with this, this city. So this is where, uh, like a massive shopping mall here. So I know there's an event going on here down there. So, but yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know what kind of event it is, but it's interesting how they how they run things here. Sometimes they have a bit different events or whatever is going on in this middle of this in this square area. So. So I had to show you this anyway, so, but, it's interesting, I mean, so, but, so yeah, I'm here right now just to be honest, uh, I want to explore a few things, and uh, plus I want to get something to eat, I mean, so I want to get something to eat here, so my plan is to try and go to McDonald's, because I feel like craving for McDonald's today, so I'm starving. Uh, I've only ate a wee bit, but not much, so I'm definitely eat for sure. Right now, I'm going to find McDonald's and I don't think I know where it is at the moment. So, I've got a couple of time now, so it's like 5 o'clock at the moment. So, I'm going to head up to McDonald's first. Once that's done, uh, I'll probably look around and rebuild all the shops if they're still open. So, 
價值。Alright guys, that's me found McDonald's now. I think they must have they must have moved the uh, the location from it, so but at least I found it now, so at least I'm not pure lost, you know what I mean? So but yeah, so that's the McDonald's here. I'm definitely gonna order food, man I mean, so let's see how that goes. I mean Alright guys, that's me got my meal now, so I'm at McDonald's, I managed to get like two large fries here, well one of those large fries, got myself a drink, a soft drink, a coke here, and this is, one that I want to show you is that I ordered a chicken sandwich meal, this is like, this is not ordinary chicken sandwich meal, this is like a spicy one, the spicy one looks really good, and I, and I can't wait to test it out, this is different compared to the UK and Scotland, so it looks amazing man. But yeah, I can't wait to test it out and try it out. It looks gonna be amazing. Very excited. Okay, I just finished my my, uh, my meal from the McDonald's now, so it's quite busy in our thought actually. Uh, it took me a while to try and to try uh, uh, waiting for my order, but that's that's sorted. Now I'm gonna try and wander around some shops to uh, see if there's any shops that are kicking around and see like where else I can go actually, so I'll go upstairs actually, there's more better. So I'll, just, I'll see if I can find this couple of shops that I want to go to, if I can, if I can make it in time. So, but yeah, it's quite mobbed here, it's, it's during Sunday, so uh, tomorrow will be Monday and I've only got a few days remaining before I go back to, back to the UK, Scotland. So I'm just trying my best to uh, use up my days stuff to go anywhere that I wish to go to uh, before I leave so it's because I want to have a I want to have a like to enjoy myself my own days before I leave so I just want to make sure I, I can have a good time you know what I mean before before I go home so I'm just going to try go to a few shops that I can find uh, and then see how things go from here I don't think I've been to this place before. They probably refurnished the whole thing. So I'm just looking for the shop. I mean, hopefully I can find it. It's called. Uh, what's it called? It's this location there. I mean, so hopefully I'll find it. I need to go downstairs and see if I can find it. I hope. Unless I took it the wrong turn. I mean, but we'll see what happens anyway. Just, I found this shop out of nowhere, so I'm just gonna look around, around this. So, oh nice, they got the Jutsu Kaisen and uh, Spikes family. They got these, and it's like out arcade machines. More other random stuff, uh, more Gundam model kits here. Uh, I don't know, the some are all okay, but I, th I think I've already got all the model kits what I need. So, there's nothing I caught my eye on. Uh, there's more games they're playing, so I think that's a Switch game. So we're just wandering, wandering. There's Pokemon TCG here, but I mean they also, the the Japanese version. Uh, they're playing Pokemon on this. I mean that's cool. And then we got some here, so it's all Pokemon. So and then this one we got Yu-Gi-Oh. So twelve dollars for that. That's not bad actually, so not bad at all. Oh 
Okay guys, I'm inside the, the, the finally I'm in this uh, this place now. So this this is the place where I, I went to the what's it called the Wonderland uh, Wonderland Superstore. So there it is there guys. I remember there was back in twenty was it back in twenty nineteen I found this shop out of nowhere. So I'm definitely going to that shop now to see what I, hopefully I can find something decent. Uh, Cause the last time I bought like a Gundam model kit, the last time in there, like a uh, Iron Blooded Orphans, that was a that was a not bad, uh, you know, the the stuff I bought. So I think they they last. I don't think I remember this. They must have moved it here. So the last time I was in the other side, the last time. So, but yeah, they must have moved it. So we're, I'm going to go in now and see what it's like. Oh, I'm going to go inside very very shortly soon. I'm just showing you all the stuff, all the merch. Oh, they've got two B man. Look at that. That's a nice design figure, actually. And uh, was it well for the display box? I mean, so I seen the the one in, uh, in Japan. I mean, out of the box, but not in the actual the the, the display box itself. So that's not bad, actually. So four four hundred twenty dollars. That's like what forty forty pound, I think. This one's under forty pound nine s. So, but oh well. At least if they have it in the UK, I'll probably buy this some but sometime hopefully. So. But they've got other ones as well, so these ones I'm not into, but uh, they look really cool, so that's not bad. And then they've got other ones here as well, so so they've got Transformers, so they've got Optimus Prime from the was it Rise of the Beast. They've got Jetfire. Look at that one, two thousand uh, two thousand three hundred and twenty dollars for that, huh? They must have dropped the price down for that. And then we've got other ones as well. Iron Man as well. But it looks cool. I'm definitely going to go in there and see what it's like. Not a lot has changed. Most of them are still the same, I believe. Except for a few bits. They've changed the, uh, you know, the shelves. So they've, so they've got Pokemon here. So these... You got English versions of Pokemon as well, so these how much they cost actually. I mean, and then these how much they cost for the Chinese or Japanese ones. So, but this is why uh, I don't usually buy the, the the English versions here as much. I mean, because due to the shipping tax. And then they've got Yu Gi Oh, they've got the Y Sports Yu Gi Oh as well. Oh, they've got that as well. Twenty five pound for that. No, not twenty five pound. Uh, we've got again thirty dollars. Thirty dollars for that. They've got Digimon as well. They've got Japanese versions of these ones. They do have English versions, but the but these are definitely Japanese. So they've got these ones here. Spy X family as well. We've got these ones. They're okay. Oh, they've got Rise of the du uh, Duelist. I'm not seen in years, man. So yeah, I, I don't know if I'll pick up these packs, I don't know yet, so I'll have to decide on that. Uh, other ones, oh, these ones are quite interesting. So yeah, I'll decide if I want to buy any packs on and stuff, so I'll, I'll probably think about it. So I'm in this area with the, the Gundam model kits here, so this is section. Plus they've got Digimon uh, model kits and stuff, and other ones, animes as well. So they've got Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Puzzle, so that's really cool. Digimon, I've already got this one though, so uh, this one I don't have, don't have, and don't have, so not sure. Oh, and they've got that as well. Oh, that's $315, jeez. Good thing I got mine a little bit cheap actually from the other place. This, some of them are a little bit expensive, but at least I got the ones I need. I mean, cause if I bought it here, man, I would have I would have lost some of the money value, but yeah, I'm very lucky. <clears throat> very very lucky man. So they got Pokemon here as well. Oh yeah, they've got anime figures like them ones, so they some of them look really good. I definitely wanna buy these but I'll probably buy it uh, somewhere else uh, you know in the UK. So they got Lego here as well, Lego Lego, it's all Lego section area pretty much. Uh, there's like nerf guns as well, so the and then the how they display it, look at this, check this out guys. Look at that. That's amazing. Oh, there's Exodia, man. 
the, that was one of the model kits the, the, on the display box for the Exodia for Yu-Gi-Oh. So this is this is really nice to see that in person actually. That looks sick. That Exodia man, and then we've got other model kits as well, Evangelion as well, more like army ones as well. But yeah, that looks really really good. I like this one more. So but the Evangelion is there, Sailor Moons, Spy X Family, loads of Spy X Families, and they've got other random ones. Yeah, they got other random ones here and here, so they own the random ones. Uh, mystery boxes as well, they got loads of them, so, so mystery bags as well here, random ones, and they got random ones here, so. I don't know, I might, I might pick some some things up maybe, just for fun of it maybe. So it just depends what I'm looking for, so... Oh, I got that as well. Nice. But yeah, I'll see what ones I'm looking for, I don't, I'm not too sure, so I'm just... I'm just winging it, so I'll just see how I, see how I feel actually, of buying any of these. So... But, yeah. These are cool, actually. These ones are cool. Yeah, I'll probably think about them, actually. Oh, this one is uh, $95 for that one. I might get one of these, actually, and bring them back home. That's not bad, actually. I'd, I'd probably will get this, because this is Yu-Gi-Oh, so... I'm hoping to get something decent from this box, so... But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to buy this up. Picking this up, actually. Digivices or Alpha Mon as well. Oh, that's cool. That's a good bag of name, look. $190 for that. I could get that one. So I'm just looking through it again one more time just to see what I want. Just to show you guys what it looks like when some of the bits and pieces. So I'm in the this mystery boxes because I actually really like mystery boxes now. So some are quite interesting. I'm not too sure what I want. So I might change my mind, might not. So it just depends on depending on how 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 I pick it. I mean, so but they show you a display what it looks like, but it's quite nice. So it's really nice. Avengers as well there, yeah. Nice. Alright guys, that's me finished going to that store, which they call Wonderland Superstore, so um, that shop, um, that, that, the shop was, um, they changed things up a bit, um, but they, they've had a couple of new things that I've never seen before, some of the stuff that I recognise. <coughs> And uh, also that um, I managed to buy a few things. I bought like two two mystery packs of the uh, keychains of Digimon. So so I don't know what what um, the the Digimon keychains I'll end up getting. So I'll probably open it in my own time if I have uh, if I have time. And I bought like a small mystery box of the Yu-Gi-Oh GX ones, the mini minifigures. So because I heard that these ones are quite popular as well. So I managed to get that just one of those. So so I managed to get that. Um, but it, it, other than that, there's not much I can spend on for today, I would say, so, but at least I got to experience it, have a look around and stuff, I mean, so, uh, at least, so I can actually enjoy it, I mean, just to browse around and kick in, I mean, so, so at least I found that shop now, so I mean, it took, took me a, a minute, took me, uh, what was it, uh, was it uh, an hour or a couple of minutes to find the shop, so, but at least I found it now, so at least I, I know where it is, so. It's just because it, it's been so long, I've been trying. It's, it's been so long trying to remember which, where that shop is until now. So, well, yeah, the shop, this shop, that shop has not been changed. So it's, it's a good thing that I, I recognise this. So, but anyways, I'll probably, I'll probably wander around a wee bit more of the shops maybe, and then 
I'll see how things go uh, you know, later on. I'll probably head back home. I would say I'll probably go to back to Marlins and eat some food. After Marlins and we'll have food, we'll, have, we'll eat some food, food there. Then yeah, we'll go straight home. So after that, so, but, yeah, I'm gonna wander a wee bit more in uh, the Sati, so just to see what else I can see what else uh, there is still out and about in the shops. So this is only seven o'clock right now, so yeah, we'll see how things go anyway. Here it's called the uh, Pop Pop Mart, I think it's called. So it's like it's kind of like a mini version of Funko Pops and stuff uh, uh, randomly. So I'm just gonna see what they've got actually. So there's some weird ones, and I mean, so I've se I've seen like this similar in the, the other places, but I just want to show you guys what what they look like again. So I know like some people are, uh, get into uh, they usually get into those. So. Myself, I, I, not so much, but it's cool to see it. And I mean, oh, they've got League of Legends, actually. Well, that's nice, actually. Who's this one? Oh, right, so it's, it's a mystery box. I actually like the Jinx one, actually. And then there's the other characters as well. I mean, so... But the Jinx one, I really like the most, so... 
If I bought one, if I bought one of those, I wonder if I'll get Jinx. That's the main question. Even if I pulled Jinx, man, that would have been amazing. But let's see what other ones here. I might pick one up actually. It's just for fun. I know League of Legends, but even though I don't play League of Legends, but I know the the game. So it's interesting how they sell these. They got other ones as well. Yeah, I'm gonna probably wander around and see what I, I might get it actually. I might get that. The League of Legends. So it's only eighty one dollars. Right guys, I, I just been to that shop there uh, the moments ago and then I bought one of myself one of the the mystery box of the Pop Mart mystery box of the uh, League of Legends classic characters. I've not opened this by the way, so these are the characters you can get. It depends on either one of those, and then there's a mystery one, so I don't know who's gonna be. It's his secret. Uh, the one I really want to get is Jinx. I don't mind getting any any other characters. I mean, so because I even though I know League of Legends, even though I don't play it, so but I I recognize uh, most of the characters. But yeah, I'll probably open this during my own time. I would say so. This is like totally new, so I probably will keep this. I mean, sealed and bring it back home. So, but. It looks, it looks cool. So I'm in this shop uh, next to it, next, well across from it, it's called Ideas, which is a really weird funny name. So basically I think it's like based on Disney and uh, Marvel and Star Wars and stuff. So we're just going to have a look anyway to see what stuff they've got actually. So it's interesting how they got these kind of stuff, so, but no idea. Yeah, it's definitely based on Disney and Marvel and stuff, so it's really cool actually. Nothing I'm uh, specifically looking for, but at least I get to have a look and see and experience it. Look at these Iron Man ones. So, I mean, we've got Iron Man, uh, Loki, Thor, Captain America Iron Man version. I mean, that's amazing. And they got other Iron Mans as well, so. I'm a, I'm a fan of Iron Man actually, the, the from the Marvel series. So, and they got Funko Pops as well. I've already got the Funko Pops that I've got. I mean, so I don't have that. I try not over uh, kill my budget of all the Funko Pops I spend. So, but they've got other good stuff as well. I'm gonna probably leave the shop soon just to see other shops. But it's nice. To, it's nice to have a look at it. On my, own, my uh, back in this place called Mylansan again, so it's like a local place that uh, I always like I, I, like. I could travel here easily to. So since I live out, outside of it, well, I, outside of the uh, Mylansan, like not too far away from here. So, so yeah, I'm gonna end this video vlog, this journey because uh, it's getting late, and also that uh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get food again. I'm gonna just jump down McDonald's, and after McDonald's, I'm gonna go straight home. So. But today the journey was not too bad. Uh, the journey from this morning going to Guttall was really tired and exhausting, but it was okay. I mean, so it was interesting, even though despite the horrible weather. And uh, plus, I went to Satin as well for after that, for, you know, during those 
uh, spending more hours up into it. So, but I didn't want. But I'm glad that my day wasn't getting wasted. So I, I'm just glad to be honest. So, but yeah. So tomorrow wise, um, I'm going to go to Sam Samsung Bowl. I uh, mean to uh, to pick up stuff. Uh, I'm picking up my my uh, was it my visa. So because my visa was getting renewed, it takes a while to get renewed. So I, I, it's getting it's going to be ready tomorrow. So I'll pick that up and do it morning. Uh, afterwards or some sort of goal, I don't know where else I'm going to be going, I'm not too sure, but you'll see it in my video vlog anyway where I'm, where I'm going to be going. So I've got a few days left before I leave uh, like Hong Kong very, very soon, in a couple of days soon. So I may as well try and my best to figure out the schedules and stuff. So, but yeah, it's been a good, it's been okay day. I mean, so it's not too bad. So, despite the horrible weather. So, anyways, I better get going. I'm going to grab some food. I'm gonna head home and I'll see you guys the next day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So see you.